Hello and welcome to our unboxing video on the Kerr Stewart Victory from Planet Industrials. We've all been looking forward to this one and uh, I've, this is my personal example that I've ordered. So as you can see I'm very enthusiastic about them as well. Um, the box, nice and simple and sturdy, um, arrived in good condition and there you can see a drawing of the Victory locomotive on the cover. So without further ado let's take it out the box, stick the box to one side. Now first thing you come to this rather lovely little leaflet that doesn't just tell you about the model and uh, all the variations and the drawings and so on it's a really nice little simple pamphlet that also includes history of the locomotive The detailing and about the different variations from Planet Industrials. So I'll stick that to one side and as you can see nicely packaged. Nice sturdy box. Right so let's slide the loco out. Pretty standard packaging these days. Now you do get this box of extra bits to clip on, uh, the brass plates, which are manufacturers plates, uh, I've put into this bag, they were loose, but uh, I wanted to keep them all together, um, I will eventually get round to fitting these, but for now I thought the safest place for them is in this bag until I've got my layout finished so to be fair um, it's the best solution to keep things safe so now the moment you've all been waiting for the unboxing so I'll just put this to one side Unfasten. Now, as you can tell, no prizes for spotting that this is the black example. I've gone for the black because um, it suits our um, industrial layouts and also it's a pretty, you know, uh, universal one. We can use this anywhere um, and as you can see, even though it's got a black finish, it is nicely finished really nicely finished um, I'm being very very careful with it because there is a lot of brake rigging already fitted to the loco um, it's beautifully applied um, and uh, all the springs and so on are all modelled and obviously the last thing I want to do is cause any damage to any of those the centre axle seems to be uh, sprung slightly and it is able to jiggle around a little bit. That's good from a point of view of um, you know the tight radiuses. This will go round a second radius curve which is excellent. The level of detailing is absolutely superb. I'll bring it a little closer to the camera and you can see things like um, the uh, sandbox has a, 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 the sandpipe going directly to the wheel. That's such a beautiful level of detail, and you know the detailing on the brake uh, rigging is absolutely superb. Um, really, I would argue, from my own point of view, that even I wouldn't spot this generally when the loco is running. Um, I haven't run the loco yet, but uh, you know, as I speak to you now, I'll try if I can to show you the cab. Now, there you've got uh, the brake, handbrake lever, beautifully represented. There's separate uh, 
glazing on the in, fitted to the inside of the cab. Now, as I bring it round, you can see that the the detailing behind the firebox inside the cab is beautifully represented. Now, being a an industrial line loco. Uh, it's not going to have the bells and whistles that a mainline loco would. As a matter of course, it wouldn't need them. But, uh, for example, the uh, handrails uh, for climbing into the cab are beautifully represented. The, all the levers and uh, gauges are beautifully represented. And unfortunately, um, it's very difficult for the camera to catch those out. So I hope you're able to uh, to see for yourself. You know, it really is beautifully done. And as you can see, there is some very fine rivet detailing applied to the loco. Moving to the rear, we've got a very simple locomotive as it was, but even so, the detailing, you've got the um, the irons for placing the lamp onto the loco, you've got sprung buffers, front and rear, and I'll demonstrate those a little bit better by just, so there, absolutely fantastic, as I turn the model around being very being very conscious of the brake rigging underneath I don't want to cause any damage um, all the valve gear and everything and the side rods beautifully represented so it really is a nice simple and it's a nice weighty locomotive as well moving to the top of the cab you do have representation of the um, sliding uh, sunlight if you want of a better description I know it's got a proper term but I can't remember it and uh, that's in the top of the cab as is the very tiniest little whistle I can't tell if it's metal or not and the fact that I can't tell is good enough for me um, the safety valves again beautifully represented I shall try to get you a view and as you can see even though it's black the loco really does have some very fine detailing that comes through and I wouldn't say that being black makes this loco any the less interesting of course you've got the iron above the smoke box for the mounting of the front lamp and again, sprung buffers. Um, we have NEM pockets and couplings with a certain amount of sideways movement, which is handy because if you take a look at the loco, there is quite an overhang and a very short wheelbase, as these were uh, excellent, very powerful locomotives that were used uh, in uh, originally in, in the docks. They were um, ordered in 1917 by the Ministry of Defence to use um, for dock work um, and they needed a short wheelbase for manoeuvrability on tight radius curves and they also needed a lot of power and these fitted the bill. After the war they were sold off to various collieries and um, other uh, industries and uh, unfortunately there are none that are left in preservation so this is the closest you can get to a real loco. Another thing that Planet Industrials have done that uh, is a little unusual and can't be faulted is that you have a representation, I don't know if you can see that, of the route for the coal into the cab and uh, basically you can then fit your own coal 
Now we've actually got a lump of coal to smash up and use on our models and uh, needless to say that's exactly what I'm going to do in here so it will be realistic um, so in terms of uh, the visuals I think you can safely say that I'm very impressed the weight is extremely good um, and uh, the next job is to run it in and film it on our little layout Stop and go. That's it. Okay. Stop. Absolutely perfect.